Let me tell you one thing. I don't need to get ready because I almost ready. So yeah, Canelo just said that, you know, he said, I don't got to get ready because I stay ready. He said he stays ready for the smoke. Um, honestly, what I think he meant to say is that I don't got to get too ready for this fight because I got this in the bag. Um, Canelo's a boxer. He, he knows what this is. He knows that coming up two weight classes is a huge challenge for anybody, even to take on just an average fighter at 168, let alone him. I mean, keeping it real, when have you ever seen Canelo do this? When have you ever seen him take a fight so lightly like right now? Out there playing golf and shit, bro. He hasn't even started his training camp. For him saying uh, that he's always training, that's pretty much every boxer. Every boxer is usually training, but training lightly is different than actually getting into your training camp. But it does seem funny to me how Canelo is not taking this as serious as he usually does, man. You know, Jermel is out here going at it, bro. J Jermel is getting it in, you know. You can tell Jermel's taking this thing super serious because I think he knows, bro. He, he, he knows the challenge that he's up against, man. I mean, these guys, these are professional boxers. They, they really know what it is. A lot of casual boxing fans, they don't know what Jermel is going up against. I, I mean, I've tried to explain this to y'all, but I know some people are never going to get it. But it's a huge disadvantage. It's a, it's a huge uh, battle that he's, he's got to overcome. Jermel knows this, and obviously Canelo knows this. You know, he's got time to go out there and golf and shit, you know. Uh, I mean, if you really stop and look at it, bro, the hints are right there, man. This stuff is right in your guys' face. I don't see how you guys just can't piece this thing together. You know, but everything will play out, and we'll see uh, come fight night, right? Um, you know what's crazy, though? We got to talk about this, man. How in the hell does the WBC give Canelo another full year before he's got to defend his belt? You know what I'm saying? But they give Devin Haney till Friday? That shit is so crazy to me, man. If I was Devin Haney, I, bro, I would be so pissed off right now, man. I'd be trying to sue the W. I'd be trying to do something, bro. Because that shit right there, that shit is just so unjust, man. And they're giving him an extra year. It's not like they're giving him one year, bro. Um, Benavides has been the mandatory for three years now. Three years, man. And, and they're extending it another year. Like I said, this shit is right in your guys' face, but you guys just don't want to see it. And for those of y'all that don't know why, I'm going to break this thing down, man. And I'm going to tell you guys why. It's so obvious, bro. Canelo is the guy that brings in the most money. So, of course, they want to protect him, man. They want to protect. No, no other boxer is bringing in money like Canelo. So, they want to protect their source of income, man. That's why they give Canelo all of these passes. Um, it's no secret Canelo... You know, he's undisputed, bro. He's got to pay uh, 3%, I think, on every single belt that he has on on his purses. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he makes, he's got to pay 3%. That's the messed up thing about these uh, these organizations, man. The first time I heard about this shit, bro, I couldn't believe it, man. That shit is such a ripoff. So Canelo, he's pretty much paying about 12% out of all of his, uh, of his purses on all of his fights, you know, because he's got all the belts. So do you think that these sanctioning bodies are going to want somebody else to get these belts when they know that that next boxer is not going to bring in the same uh, amount of income that Canelo does. This is why they protect him so much. But at the end of the day, man, you guys got to understand that this shit is wrong, bro. We lose as boxing fans when this shit happens, man, because this shit, this is corruption right in your guys' face. You know, they're taking from us, the boxing fans, just to make themselves richer. And we're the ones that are losing, man. That's what you guys don't understand. But you guys stay you guys stay uh, defending this shit, man. And that's the reason they don't want Canelo fighting Benavides, man. All of you guys keep saying that Canelo is not ducking Benavides. How do you guys say this, bro? It's been three years. I don't think I've ever... I have never... If, if any of you guys have, leave it down in the comment section. But I have never witnessed such a long uh, time period that someone had to wait to, to get their shot at the title. This is the first time I've ever heard of any uh, anything like this ever happen. A lot of y'all keep saying that, oh, it's going to happen in this three-fight deal. I'm telling you guys, this is not going to happen in this three-fight deal, man. If it ever happens. If the day Canelo fights Benavides, it's probably going to be on his way out. And he's just going to use that fight as a money grab. Because he probably knows he's going to lose that fight. And he's just going to he's just gonna take the money and, and retire. And that's when we're going to see Canelo fight Benavides. But for us to see Canelo fight Benavides, like, when he has a chance or in his prime, I don't he's already kind of past his prime, but right now when he's got a better chance of beating uh, Benavides, we're not going to see that shit, man. 
And I think you guys just need to accept this shit and stop defending Canelo. You know, um, this him ducking Benavides, it's it's not taking nothing away from his from his skills as a as a fighter. I've always said that Canelo's a great fighter. And I will always say that shit because I believe that he is. I believe that his career was managed very, very badly. Well, um, for legacy wise, you know what I'm saying? But on paper and all that shit, they did that shit. Uh they they played they played it perfect, you know. But at the end of the day, I'm always going to keep this shit real, bro. And I'm always going to say that he's ducking Benavidez because that's what it is, you know. Um, what do you guys think about about the, uh, the what, how the WBC handled this? The way they gave Haney to Friday, bro. And they gave Canelo a whole other year before he's got to defend his belt. You know, that shit is crazy. Y'all go ahead and leave it down in the comments, man. Um, you know, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Even all of you uh, Canelo fanboys, man. You guys subscribe to the channel because if I got to be putting up with y'all in the comments, man, the, the, the least y'all could do is subscribe to the channel, man. I, I got to be out here answering to hundreds of y'all. And you guys just got to put up with one of me, you know what I'm saying? So sub to the channel, man. Uh, but that's it for me, you guys. I'll be on to the next one, man. I'm out.